This video is a little out of the ordinary for me, but it's something that I felt I needed to do. Uh, just bear with me, I'll be back to fishing and hiking really soon. On April 10th, 2015, I was shot at close range in the back with a 12 gauge shotgun. Uh, long story short, I was out with some friends and we went back to a buddy's apartment. Uh, just shortly after arriving there, there was a knock at the door. My friend who owned the apartment uh, answered the door and someone that none of us had ever seen walked in with a shotgun down at his hip. Uh, never spoke a word to anybody. He shot my friend. Um, my friend got thrown to the back of the hallway. He barricaded himself in his bedroom. The other three people, myself included, ran towards the balcony. Uh, I was the unfortunate one who was at the back of the line. I got shot in the back. I went down and I stayed down. I tried to play dead. I wasn't sure if I was going to get shot again. The other two were able to jump over the balcony. The shooter was walking around a bit and I heard a third shot. I didn't know at the time what had happened. I thought maybe one of my friends had been shot, but uh, apparently he had taken his own life. Again, a long story short, I ended up at the Hamilton General Hospital, thank God. Um, if I had gone anywhere else, I'm not sure of the results. You know, I'm not sure that I would have made it. Um, I'm so lucky to have been transported to the General. Uh, once I got there, I underwent three emergency surgeries. Uh, I had my pancreas repaired, had my spleen removed, had my bowels resected, my colon resected, three quarters of my left kidney removed, and my abdom abdominal wall repaired. All of this with a giant hole in my back. I spent three weeks in the ICU. I went home a little bit too early and ended up back in hospital with an infection. I ended up getting a drainage tube that drained infected fluid from my abdomen through a tube going out my back and collected in a small bag that I wore on my hip for four long months. It was terrible, um, <clears throat> but it saved my life. The care that I received at the Hamilton General was unbelievable. I mean, the kindness kept me going. The nurses were so good to me. Everybody at the hospital was so good to me. And, you know, the doctors and the surgeons are some of the best in the world. And, uh, you know, I've, I've honestly been told that. Now, a lot of people said that I was lucky to have made it, but I truly believe that, you know, obviously I was, but I think I was lucky to have been so close to the Hamilton General because it was those doctors and surgeons that saved my life and they do it day in and day out, and a lot of people don't even realize that. Um, crazy enough thing, 18 months or so after all of this, my best friend of 20 years, Joe, was uh, injured terribly at a workplace accident. He was run over by a street grader. Thank God he ended up at the Hamilton General as well. Uh, he had to have his spleen removed. He broke his pelvis in the front and the back, had to have it repaired with these big steel rods that held him together. Um, his leg was torn up bad. Ligaments were torn in his arm and he was in real rough shape. And they patched him up. The rehab that he's getting is unbelievable. And uh, you know, he's walking without his canes and his walker now. And he's at home with his one-year-old son and his wife. And again, we can thank the Hamilton General for that. Basically, I, this is a call for help for all my viewers and subscribers. Uh, there's only a few of you, but hopefully you can all share this video and we can get more people to see it. Any of you to donate blood because myself and Joe and so many people need it and need it more than you realize. So donate as often as you can. I'm gonna post a link below for any American Red Cross donations. I'll also post a link for Canadian Blood Services so you can find out where you can donate. Um, I'm gonna post a link for the Strides for the General. Now that's a race that's gonna raise money for the Hamilton General Hospital. Um, I'm unable to attend this year. I'm going to be out of the country. Last year, myself and my girlfriend ran it. We raised a bunch of money and the general, or the strides for the general, raised a fortune. Um, and they do it year in and year out. Uh, I think they're up over 750000 now, dollars that they've raised. That goes back to equipment for the hospital and directly benefits the patients at the Hamilton General. I'm going to post a link below for my friend Joe who's going to be raising funds and uh, walking in the race. You can donate, please. Anything will help. A couple dollars, five, ten dollars, be great. Whatever you can afford, donate to Joe's link. It's going to go, like I said, directly to the Strides for the General to help the patients at the Hamilton General Hospital. I did an interview with the Hamilton Health Sciences Foundation, and that'll be on their YouTube page. As soon as I get word from them that it's finished, I'll post a link for that below as well. You can check it out. And uh, please donate to the foundation, donate to the Strides for the General, and make sure you get out to donate blood because so many people need it. All the links will be below. 
Check them out, like this video, share this video. Thank you so much.